to examine the ulnar nerve. And this is a nerve essentially of sensation from the hand, the hypothenar eminence, little finger and ring finger, and then extrinsic and intrinsic muscles of the hand. This area and this area are not ulnar nerve. They are medial cutaneous branches that come off the medial cord. Ulnar nerve passes down infraclavicularly, down behind the medial epicondyle and down into the arm. The first branch, flexor carpi ulnaris. We asked the, the patient to bend the wrist up with resisted wrist flexion and we can see the tendon just here. FCU, flexor carpi ulnaris. Moving down, we get the flexors of the finger. We can straighten out FDP as a mass action muscle. If you could bend your little finger, we get FDS activity. And if we want to look for FDP, flexor digitorum profundus, the deep muscle, we stabilize the uh, proximal interphalangeal. Can you bend up now? And we can see FDP. And we can resist that to check the function. These are the extrinsic muscles, the muscles that are based here. The ulnar nerve comes on down, it comes into the hand, and it brings function to the intrinsics. Abduction of the fingers, can you spread the fingers out like a star? We have the abductor digiti minimi and the first dorsal interosseus. So remember pad and dab, so the dorsal interosseus abduct, like this. If you ask the patient to bring the fingers together, the fingers stick together, adduct, try and pull, stick them together, keep them, keep them stiff. And again, so that's resisted finger adduction. Now again, just examining the hand, we want to see extrinsic, intrinsic balance. The hand here is in extrinsic, intrinsic balance, that the extrinsics and intrinsics have given a normal resting posture. If we lose the intrinsics, and the intrinsics form MCP joint flexion, IP joint extension, and we balance that with the carpet roll-up of the extrinsics, we get balance. Take out the intrinsics, so take out this, and what we end up with is that claw position. Now what clawing is, is hyperextension at the MCP joint and flexion at the PIP joint. This is not clawing. Okay, it's got to be hyperextension because we've lost the intrinsic flexion of the MCP joints. We also look for the tone and resting position of the hand. There's a lovely palm, a cup, a curve within the hand with an intrinsic injury Intrinsic loss, you get a flattened hand. Adductor pollicis as well, if you just clamp down like a pair of scissors, that's great, that brings down that adductor and you can feel that within that thenar mass. Sensation along the finger, common digital nerves here and this side of the ulna, the, re the ulna side of the ring finger and sympathetic function sweating. I can feel all the way along the palm here that the sympathetics are intact.